recording. Okay, so let me just do a quick uh, synopsis of what's going on in my my view. Okay, hi guys, welcome to the live trading. Okay, so last couple of days, let's have a look. We were up here yesterday. This was a great sell. Okay, this pullback. I think it was. It's, this is a five-minute chart. Uh, our pullback. That's AQ, by the way. Oh, sorry. Sorry, right. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep, sorry. Wrong profile. Over here. There's your sell right there from yesterday. Most of us, well, I, I couldn't get it because I was out doing something else, okay? But, mate, wow. But, you know, let's let's talk about something very important. Woulda, coulda, shouldas. If you miss it, don't chase it, number one. Number two is don't beat yourself up because you lost it, okay? There's, there's always an opportunity. And you saw this, Pete, the other day that there's always an opportunity. And you saw me. When I, I came in back over here, I'd sat down in front of the computer and then there was heaps of little scalping opportunities going on, right? So if you miss the move, never ever chase it, never ever enter late, okay? Unless you've got a full plan around it, right? A calm plan around it. If you're trying to chase a something that you feel as though that you've lost, then that's the wrong move, okay? You need to have the full plan that's going on, okay? Anyway, so that's that. Let's go over here. That's a four hour. Let's go back to the four hour. I'm going back. At, here's the four hour. So we're now deep in this support zone in here. This is why we've got a little bit of an up move. I'm feeling up tonight. Okay. Last night we're already at, we were at the top over here. So that's a down move. We've got all this support all the way along here. If it is going to go, keep going shorter, we're going to probably come into this uh, 15,582 level, which is the 1,000 in this uh, trend line in here, okay? so But we've got to break this first. We've got to get through here. So that I'm thinking up to start with. If not, it's going to head back down. So on the upside, where are we going to go to? We, we could go all the way back up to the top, and that would be fantastic if we do, okay? But we have been going sideways now. If we if we treat this as an expanding wedge or even like a contracting triangle or something, do you think we've done A, B, C, D, E yet? We're pl pretty close to it. Let's just have it. Let's just play around, right? So let's just go A, B, C, D, E, potentially. Okay. So as this is coming down, we've we've kind of getting to the end. This is this sideways action is becoming dry, it's becoming you know, everybody's kind of getting over it. Okay, after E, if we go over here to this one, we've got A, B, C, kind of D, blah, 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 blah. let's go E, F, G, A, G here. Okay, and the trend line came through here and then break. See how it just gets thinner and thinner and thinner. Okay. People get like the the buyers and the, all the sellers. They kind of stop trusting it when there's too many, too much going sideways. It's that spring that contracts. You're holding it like a what do they call it? The things in a car, a suspension spring. You're pulling a suspension spring in. How long can you hold onto it? It's going to burst out of your hands. Okay, because you don't have the strength anymore. And this is after E, that's usually what happens. It can go a little bit further, but then it just pops out. Okay, and it did over here. It popped and then it popped. And then it's still popping. And now we're in another one. Okay, this one's a little bit more volatile. We could even come with ideas is that we can come up. Pete, just count me in, mate. Uh, come up to... Uh, six uh, at li minimum of the 382 over here or the 618 okay so upward move is the next idea okay so just keep an eye on it but certainly if it does get to 15 577 down here that's that's definitely a buy in there all right let's stretch this one out because this is this is support resistance in there 
and I've also got that one in there as well so let's just keep an eye on it okay all right news I did take the news last night on the sterling and I got that one hopefully you all saw it in discord and that Aussie dollar looked like it was wanting to sell off this morning but it was a little bit of a fakey move where are we what's what day is it today it's Wednesday Wednesday so that that Canadian inflation that was a bit of a blur moment sterling inflation came out I was out so I completely missed that one but that hit consensus so that was a nothing as well we've got seven o'clock employment numbers euro area so let's just keep that in mind can somebody put a marker here this is what I do let's do a vertical line seven o'clock no this is the wrong chart let me just put that back Nineteen hundred. There we go. Nineteen hundred is our. That's that um, employment area. E A. Building permits. That's a leading indicator, but it's pretty low level um, uh, indicator for GDP. Anyway, and then we're on to December, by the way. We're on to thir Thursday. Okay, thanks, mate. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we know what news is coming up. We know we know what to expect. Heath, you're still in this um, long. Yeah, I am. Okay, so you're up here at the one thousand, which is a two hundred on the five minute chart. So that yep. may have been a target. It also looks like AB equals CD. Maybe not. Not quite. Okay, so just be mindful of that. And we're just about to open, so you could whip around. gonna let this guy open up first feeling long I want to have one last push to the downside that was a huge move yesterday what, how long how far was it, it was what pre-market at three o'clock it kind of started five o'clock so what nine fifty nine fifty two down here seven oh two wow hundred and fifty points no two fifty points sorry two fifty nice all right 40 seconds. Anybody going to watch Matilda's tonight? Guess not. How come I've only got one person in here? Sorry guys. How long was I off for? Oh, like one minute. Okay. Ten seconds, by the way. That's weird. That just um, completely just stopped for no reason. Five seconds. Okay.
That's uh, the 15 minute. Oh, hang on. This is not. That's the 5 minute 200. 15 minute. Yeah. Anyway, so I took a. Um, Shorter, I short. shorted that and I'm out already, mate. That was so fucking quite quick. So let me just, it was just a f full scalp, right? So it's entered there, exited here for, let me just, right, God, that was quick. Um, in at 30, out at 18, so 12 points. So 12 points there, 30, what's the price difference, 21, 26, so yeah, there's a big, reasonably big price difference there, so it was about there, and about, about, let's go there, so yep, that's 25 contracts, so that was what, 312 bucks, done. Good stuff. That was good, yeah, not bad. Because that's pretty heavy. I mean, you've got one minute thousand, which is the five minute two hundred, which is the fifteen minute fifty. All right, so a lot of people are looking at that. Good for a scalp. Uh, by the way, I've spoken to Tyson today. And oh, yeah. to get UK UK one hundred to point six. Uh, DE thirty is going to stay where it is. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get cool. trying to get uh, US fifty US five hundred down to point uh, three, I think. So I've had a conversation with him because yeah, he's been yes. pretty busy. Um, but we'll get ox right where we need them, right? Yeah. Um, all of the, have you guys, I don't know whether you're trading live or not. If you, Even if you're on demo, you'll see that there's no commission, okay? Even if you're on the pro, if, even if you're on pro, they still build their, their fee into commissions, okay? Into spread, sorry. All right, so... Plus 12. I still got yesterday's. Yeah, still got yesterday's on here. There's yesterday's tally, if anybody hasn't seen it. 72 out of yesterday. Just by scalping. Yeah, it's got pop. There you go. Heath, hopefully you're still in this. see straight up right so that was a good call so this is upward move because we're coming off all of this support in here guys all of that shit yep up, upward move so Heath has gone from 13 to about 50 Heath are you there man Heath no nah, he's gone anyway so is there anybody else long? No, I missed it. Okay. All right, just be patient. There's going to be a hundred other trades. Maybe yeah. chase the trade. Just watch it go. It's like when all of the girls leave the nightclub, there's always a few that are left, all right? So you can still pick them up, all right? Yeah. Are you long on that or? Are you I'm no. I did the short. I'm plus twelve. I'm flat right now. I'm just not going to do yeah. anything. I might be looking at up here somewhere because there's we're hitting this low over here. We're at this one right here. Let me change this back. 
or at this low over here so let's just um, I'm just gonna sit I'm sitting I'm sitting Let me just fix this I want to change it yesterday I'll screw it up Okay, so uh, I found a new new thing on uh, Trading View, that, which is a bit wanky, but I'll show it to you anyway. When we when we calm down a bit. This may okay just thought going through my head right now this might because we've gone we've got triple divergence here okay some may call it Wyckoff I'm even arguing that it, we're an expanding wedge in here as well okay that I mean to go to go and we could go all the way back up to 15.9 even halfway 15.850 but to come back up into here is pretty unlikely. That because, it, it, like I was talking or saying before, is that we've come up here A, B, C, D, E, or D break, right? So this could be, this could just be, there's no buyers left in it. They're not, I mean, we'll have buyers because of this low in here, but to get any serious upside especially after that this this huge move yesterday I don't think there's buyers left I really don't think that you see this move in here it's just so aggressive to the downside right I'm just not sure I mean that's divergence I know that that there is divergence you know, I, could, I can only really see us coming back up into there and then moving back to the downside. It's not convincing that, you know, we've got... It's going to go in. I don't know, man. That's just what's going through my head. How's this um, anchored V from the very top, right? So here's an anchored V wrap all the way up here. So that's the highest it's ever been. And we've come down we've hit it we've come to resistance there kind of a fake out there and then full-on resistance there right so these and brian shannon anybody ever read that book hang on let me just make sure that everyone can see it hold 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 let me get it all right got, got it let me just go to and you guys won't be able to see this but all the guys watching the next day on the uh, on the live stream recording they'll be able to see here we go this book here all right Brian Shannon here it is here it is hang on I'll give it I'll put it up here so you guys can see it that one that's the book there all right so he does talk about that uh, breakouts it's in here somewhere. We printed it here. Look, anchored off the high, swing high. There you go. In there. Okay. Price based events. And with that price based event that we just had was the all time high of the DAX. That is, and it almost looks exactly right, doesn't it? You know, you can base it on news, all time highs, things like that. Yeah. Oop. Let me get this down. Okay, so if anybody was keen, this could it was small scalps see because that's the previous high you'd be buying in here looking for the retrace to the top 
for some more scalps. But I'm just I'm sitting out at this point. This uh, previous low over here looks like it's holding nicely. Let's zoom in. Let's go in here. This one over here. This is the one that's holding it. That's why we're. That's why you got rejection here. Okay. This low over here is rejecting that. But my problem is, is if we put a divergence, you don't really need this indicator because all indicators are bullshit in the end, or oscillators certainly are. But I mean, that doesn't even look like there's a divergence on an RSI 14, 14 period. That certainly does. Okay. If we get take that to a half hour chart, there's divergence in there for sure. Right. Okay. So. Anyway, so that would have been a nice buy down there for the retest of the of the 200 period on five minute. And we're now back up at this resistance zone. When it touches it for the first time is your best opportunity. When it touches it for the second and the third time, less probable. Okay, we expect we that happened to us last night, where you know call was calling it last night. We were coming down here for these are the lows. Had another go, took a little bit of a scalp out of it, and then it's just struggled sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten candles sideways, and then it broke it. Right? When it doesn't bounce straight away, then there's issues, right? There was no more buyers left at that resist at that support level, and then it just falls away. Okay, so just be aware of that. When you third third second touch is maybe okay. Third touch, you probably want to leave it alone. Can everybody hear me? Or am I just talking to myself? Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. No, no. Okay. And me, no worries. Listening as well. All right. Anybody learning something new? Sure, Pete's getting reinforced with. Uh, I had to step away, sorry. Okay, alright. Well, at least there's a recording of this. I, um, happy I held that one yesterday. Oh, mate, I'm ecstatic that you did that, bro. Yeah, I almost yeah. teared. I almost teared up, bro. It's my, oh, my, my boy's growing up. Yeah. <laughs> um, are, we, are you happy that you held it? Yeah, I am. Because, yeah, I saw that 15.7 level, then it really moved off it, and I was like, I'll just go BE, and I, set, I saw the double bottom. Okay, let me just explain to the... everybody else watching what we're talking about. Hold on. This double bottom in here, am I right? Yeah, that was it, yeah, yeah. And then you, you went long at the break? No, I actually went long off the 15.7. No, on the... Down here? No, the other one, on the right. Well, there is, there. well, on Oanda it didn't happen. I mean, the, the yeah. bottom, this bottom is 15.3, 15.4, 7, 7.04. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, front run it a little bit. Okay, so you were 7.04, 7.05 again, right? Yeah. Right, you, okay, Pete, you've got to become specific, right? You've got to be very precise, yeah? And you're already an accountant, so you know how to be precise. But yeah. you held it all the way up until here, to number yeah, one? Yeah, that's why I put the TP. Did you, okay, so how did you do that? You you did what we talked about. Set your alerts yeah. and walk away. Well, I actually put in the, the TP on Metatrader and I um, left. What about your stop? Did you move your stop? I stopped just to break even. You put your stop at break even, you put your TP all the way up here, and yeah. then you walked away... And then you just didn't look at it, so you didn't have to fiddle with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, man. That's exactly how you do it. If you can't control yourself, have your plan. Have your plan before you enter the trade. Put your plan into into place, and walk away so that you don't uh, 
think about it. You don't override it. Put alerts, stick your alerts on. So that if something happens and you need to take an action, and, but when you put your alert on, that alert needs to marry up with the action that you're going to take, right? Because don't put an alert on and then have no, you sit there and, and then you start freaking out. Because when you, your what's called a rail, arousal, right? Uh, kicks in, then you stop thinking. Right? Sports psychology, mate. Yeah, and have the plan already. Already oh, yeah. have your plan pre, like, mapped out. Because if your plan's not mapped out, and you're and then you come back and you're under pressure, then you start, you start, you don't, you stop thinking rationally. You start thinking emotionally, and it's there. It comes back to God. I should write that book, mate. Nice edge trading. It's actually good, hey. Isn't it? But it's true. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's like it's the difference between. Which side of the knife are you going to fall off, right? And it all comes down to that level of pressure. You know, all sports people come. Have you ever seen a sports person choke? Right? It's all, all the time. All the time. You see them all the time. I see. You see. You know, as soon as the pressure comes off them, on them, as soon as they're not in that zone of you know, like Mark Douglas trading in the zone. Now we know what he means by that. If you, if you, you know, to a novice, they just go, "Oh yeah, I know what you mean." No, they fucking don't. They don't know what you mean. Yeah, that's right. True. It's until you've actually been in the trenches, right? Then you go, "Oh my god, it's actually real," right? Because you can have like an absolute cracker of a day like yesterday where you couldn't make a decision wrong and then you can make then the next day when you if you're slightly off mentally you could absolutely just hand it all back I'll, I'll put it out there to all of you stick it in the day traders channel who agrees with me and who disagrees with me I agree Give it all back plus more. Plus more because then you become emotional. You go, oh my god, I just gave it all back, so I've got to go start clicking it at random shit, right? And then it makes it even worse. That's why sometimes you know, copying your your demo account onto your live account, and kind of trying to forget about it and stick to the demo. Because you don't care about demo, do you? No one cares about demo. But that's where you have your most confidence, isn't it? Yeah. You have your most confidence yeah. on the demo. And this is where I've seen it happen to every single trader, is that as soon as I go from demo to real, collapse, full collapse. It's not because of their trading systems, it's because of them. they don't know they haven't learned how to deal at that elite level of how to sustain confidence or come in with confidence and clear calm mindedness you still long Heath He's walked away. He's, not, he's taken us literally. He's actually walked away. Right, sure. <laughs> That's why when I get up, I turn the camera off. So, so, say again? That's why when I get up, I turn the, my camera on. Oh, do you? Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, but... No, so I don't, they, I'm not looking at the camera. Oh, I see. I don't, I don't look at the cameras. Yeah, I reckon we're going to, it's, this is going to break this one. We're going to head back up into this zone. So this 85 level might be a, a sell. It's counter trend trading as well. So that was a good buy in there. 
kind of kicking myself that I didn't take that one. But let's let's wait. Good trade yesterday. If everybody was still up. Was this over here? Yeah. This yeah, VWAP I'm touch. So angry in the morning, what is? How good is that? Yeah. Okay, all the way back up. Bam in there. For that, but I was. Oh, mate, I was in bed by that space stage. I think I went to bed around about. Uh, Charlie went to bed at nine. I went to bed about yeah ten. So I was I was done around here. So what's the next stop here? Yeah, okay, so look at the confluence here, right? So where my cursor is on the four hour, we've got, uh, you know, previous support turning resistance and it goes all the way back. So that's at 8485. 784.85 look up at the 15 that's the um, that's the 50 period MA so that goes there as well so I reckon this 85 86 level is will be significant if we can see a reversal pattern at this here we might be coming back down to 700 we are above the two VWAPs, so if, if it comes down and touches the VWAP, then might make a double double top or some sort something like that. So I'm just my thinking, up here to 75, 74, 75, back down to VWAP, double top, then back down like that, something like that. If not, it'll probably just continue up to retest this. Um, long-term anchored from the all-time highs potentially <clears throat> that's my thinking can i feel with that mind you um i do encourage you i do encourage you to do your own thinking and you've been wrong before and i've been wrong a million times before. Well, look at that, 382 as well, guys, at 82. Um, I've got a 1.618 of that. Um, oh, there you are. I'm just. Yeah, I'm, sorry. I was asking um, you, are you still in it? Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm going out in a sec, so I have to run around and get ready. Um, yeah, I've got 1.618. 1618? Yep. Of this, just the small leg? This one? Yeah, so about the fifth, yeah. So you've got the easy target. Okay, so you almost hit target. Okay. I oh know, I must have drawn it differently. My 1.618 was at like, um, around oh, about the 763 mark. 63. Okay. 
sure what you're looking at there. So you're looking at that one. Yeah. Is that it? That's the number one right. level though. That's not the 1618, that's the number one. So I don't know what you're doing there, man. What are you on? No, D40 uh, or D30? D30? Oh, here 30, we go. I oh, got it. Here we go. This is yeah. it. Yep. So you're already out. Yeah. Okay. That's good. How many points is that? Mm. Yeah. Check my trading again. Uh, 49. Okay, that's all right. 49 points is very good, man. Two of them a night, that's 100 points. Do that at 25 yeah. lots. You don't need to work anymore. Well, mind you, doing this is working. Um, I've got to go. Thanks, Richard. Yep. I've got an appointment tomorrow, so hopefully um, that one works in the morning. Yep, I'll see you tomorrow. Can't see why this won't go to eighty. Yeah, which is just under that three eight two thing. Yeah, it's the three eight two. A lot, lot slower today than yesterday, isn't it? Yeah, big time. That was a very good buy session, right? Oh, buy right yeah, there. I know. I mean, look, it's literally to the tick. And look at this sell in here. My God. Look at that. Nah, come on. Just there. Uh, how's that one? Look at that, just there as well, here, all day. Do you hear, uh, here's a um, tip bit of information. Do you know, uh, if you, if we move to, if we do, if you do really well, Pete, out of this, yeah. you can move to Portugal. Yeah. Is it Portugal? Puerto Rico, sorry, South America. Puerto Rico and all your trading is tax free yeah I knew that you knew that one yeah how's that a lot of people from California are moving to Puerto Rico yeah well sooner I reckon if you're a good trader I think most people just end up retiring in Puerto Rico and I am heavily considering it, it. Puerto yeah. Rico, here I come. I've just, I've got a, as soon as my son's old enough, which is probably when he's 35, like, like you, Pete, you'll be living with your mum and dad until you're 40. Yeah. 40-year-old <laughs> <laughs> <old> virgin. <laughs> um, yeah. Puerto Rico. So where's that, man? I think there's good weather there too. Puerto Rico? Hell yeah. Yeah. Let me look it up. Let me just see what. Take that away. 
Voto heroico. So sellers is, is kind of look you see how this is just dribbling up right you know it's not giving us the big swings that we kind of want a bit wary of that but I'm still looking at I've, I'm moving my idea to 79 for a sell so if we hit out 78 79 now so I'm just gonna front run that 382 and that 50 a little bit Oh, look, so you got British, you got US, you got Republic. You may you can just get a plane to any of these places. And then there's Haiti, All so right. you just you make enough money yeah. there, then you just head back to Florida. Look, Miami, right there. Yeah, and then the Bahamas. Look, if they just they do all of them are just like, um. Seconds. We're all just f fighting over each other for. Oh, uh, they're they're fighting each other for like people to come and move there for the money, right? So that's why they give tax free uh, yeah. on capital gains over yeah. there, right? Yeah. More like Montserrat, all of these places are awesome. I don't know how long can you live on a beach though. I prefer New York. But how can you like Miami? I would like Miami, man. Yeah, Cuba. No, Haiti, no thanks. Anyway. Let's have a bit of a pop. Property pop pop. A couple more. Go on, get in there. It's really just push through it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Just did not respect it, but still in it. Oh, I could be wrong on this. Next stop will be up here at uh, 800 maybe. Yeah, 800 might be the next one. Yeah. 
ones where it just dribbles to the upside, they're the hardest because you don't get the swings out of it. You want it to, you know, flow. Like yesterday, it was just flowing really. It was moving. Yeah, so it was just yeah. like big, say, swing, 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 all over the place. But where it just dribbles, it's a lot harder. Yeah, I think I was looking for this 800 level instead, instead of the 382 and that 50. Because there's that, there's the bottom over there. Anyway, so possibly resistance. That's the 800 mark. Short off the 15, eight. You're short off the 50? 15, oh, you're short off 15,800? Um, yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm off that as well. I've got a target at, my target's short, so I've got a target at um, 80, so I'm looking for 20 pip, or 20 points. So about here somewhere. But it does look strong, doesn't it? Yeah, might, we might be trying to fight it. Yeah, I might be looking for for the up here now. Fifteen. This level. Uh, yeah. Well, that's so the fifty yeah. and now uh, one hundred maybe. You just gotta, cause this divergence, this support in here is not quite huge, right? It's massive. But let's see if we can just have have a bit of a pullback, maybe to the fifty MA, catch up. Yeah, that's what I've been looking for. Yeah, so. so. I'm looking for no, eight. No. I'm looking for eighty on the way back down. Mm Hey, what, hey? That was the story. Yeah, the Brian Shannon story, eh? Oh, sorry, is, which one's this? This is the one? No, the, the, the deck, no, the, I mean earlier. This on one? The, this is yesterday's VWAP. I don't know why that's there. I mean the one uh, today at 40. Oh, my God, that is the story, yeah. isn't it? Like crazy, isn't it? Look at, like, two th and over here as well. Jesus Christ. Not good up. Yep. Well, let's see, this could be one of those days where it just dribbles and it just gets stopped. It's because of this, this is just bullish now, isn't it? 805. 
just ate through all of this uh, resistance in here the next stop really is this 50% fib and this 100 is coming down in here but because we're sideways it probably won't respect it I'm not going to count on it you know if anything it's this guy in here which, ha which happens to be the 50% fib but I'm still in it I'm not going to give up yeah, makes sense. We just gotta. Well, we just gotta. Nice. We gotta just gotta let the let the sellers. Don't panic. Never panic. Right. Yeah. If it's gonna lose, who gives a shit? Right. Because there's always tomorrow. There's the next day. There's every other day after that. Right. So folding the washing, mate. It's always there. Yeah. So don't ever panic. Now, anyway. Sorry. Once once we've committed, you yeah. can't just pull it off. Correct. Commit. You got your stop in there, yeah? Where's your stop? Yeah. My stop is about seven points above the high of two candles ago. Okay, so what's that? Give me a number. Well on On Oanda. Um Yeah. Well, 14, 15, something like that? 15, 8, 12. Yeah, 15, 8, 13. 8, 13. Yeah. You? Mine is up above. I'm giving mine a wide. It's 29. Because mm -hmm. I want to put it above the 50%. Is there a mini clone with a bit less size? No, mate. No. Because mm -hmm. I'm after the pips. And I've got some yeah. some to spare. Yeah. Don't recommend that you do what I'm doing, though. It's allow for a bigger style. Allow for because my my risk to reward is less than one. Yeah, that's yeah. But I'm I've got I've got the ability to shed some pips if I oh points if I need to. Because I've only this whole month uh, trading DAX, I've only had one down day. Fuck, that's pretty good. And that down day was 213 bucks. This is the problem as well, right? So just don't get too used to this. Is the counter trend trading like what we've done here? Yeah. Is fucking dangerous. Right. Yeah. What we should be doing is waiting for the retest of this fifty, FT fifty in here. Yep. And going with the trend. Yeah. Okay. So counter trend trading is probably the worst thing you can do. And over the last couple of few days, you've seen me do it, which, you know, I've just like here look at this that's with that's against that's with that's against but I'm picking the I'm picking the this so this low in here is like to the tick this high here is pretty much to the tick right on the counters and same with this one right well, it's pretty very close so Never counter trends to trade something unless you're really confident with you understand your SR levels.
looks like there's just no sellers in here at all, does it? Yeah, no. May want to get itself up into this, um, what, 18, 14, 18 zone? 14, yeah, up there. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll probably get stuck soon. Box. Yeah. Yeah. So that this is a lesson, right? Counter counter trend trading is dangerous, right? Let's just watch for this this fifty MA coming up, okay? This will be interesting. Does look like it's slowing though, right? So let's not give up on it yet. Five points difference between Ox and Oanda. FYI. like to see like a really big volume spike in here mm -hmm. to uh, signal or just a flush I think Nick's gone long. Yeah, Nick's, Nick's on the long side as well, I think. will take a while to turn over I reckon. Pause yeah. Huh? Pause. It has that paused, hasn't it? Because knows it knows that, it knows that 50 is there and that SR. It knows that this is here. This guy. Whoops. This guy. Yeah, all the way. This stuff. There's no buyers left on that. You're not going to buy that on like one point away from it, are you? You're going to wait for the pullback to buy it. Back and then buy it, yeah. Correct. So if it gets to 1580, then that's a buy. See long. So look. Look, double top on the footsie. That's still pretty steep though. 
you're off the FT50 on a 30 minute chart 100 on the 15 so that's a short okay interesting yeah that's yes yeah, yeah. Alright, I've got my stop in and my target. I'm just going to quickly run to the bathroom. I'll be back. Alright. Back. It's taken a while to move, hasn't it? Super slow. Bit of divergence there, obviously, that indicates that it's just slow. Well, let's just hold on to it. See what happens. I can't see why it can't come back to eighty at least. A lot of longs going on. Kristen went long. Very good. Vic went long. All these longs. Guess we're on the wrong side, me and you, Pete. We're on the wrong side today. Yeah, I was just saying that uh, looking at Kristen went long, which is great. He got it. Vic, 
he went long on whatever that was. Let me have a look. Oh, he's on Oz Canadian. Okay. And he got stopped on dollar yen. Okay, so either way, he's still up. Looks like you and I, we just got on the wrong side of the market today, mate. Yeah, we've missed that. Don't got on too late that VWAP bounce earlier. that's alright well we missed the VWAP bounce because that was pre-market I wasn't even looking at the chart at that point I was walking from home to here um, uh, so I, I completely missed that yeah, we still the, get something here yeah, if this gets to the 50 ml I'll pull it yeah, well, I'm looking for my target at 50 MA, right? So if we get, I mean, the the other one was that one there. Can you see that? That was the other trade, right? So those two were the ones, okay? But anyway, if we get to 50 MA, if we get to 80, I'm out. I'm out at 80. But this, I mean, look at it. It's just vicious to the upside, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool. I'm my stop is now pretty very close, close in. I could get stopped any second. Stop is uh, where am I? Where I get in? I got in here, about there. Oh, eight. Got in at eight. Yeah, I've got ten point stop. Nine point stop. Let me get rid of all these arrows. Arrows, they're all in my way. Anyway, so today wasn't out, it's not really ours, is it, mate? Yeah. Looks like it has been for Vic and Kristen. Kristen got some good ones out of that. Nick got a good one. That's good. Good. Everyone did better than me. And you've done a good job teaching. Well, I taught. Obviously, I've taught them something. Everyone's making money except for me, boo-hoo. And me. And you. you. should cry. Cry me a river. Hang on, let me find a gift for that. Cry. There we go. That's me. Little <laughs> oh, baby cry. My day so far. No, nah, I'm already up. I shouldn't shouldn't whinge like that. What am I whinging about? I'm up twelve points already. And now Oh yeah, because you had the one earlier. I had that twelve pointer. If I get this one then I'll be up twenty points, so I really can't cry too much. <laughs> Thirty two points. I shouldn't whinge too much about it. As soon as that f it comes anywhere close to that 50, I'm out. That 50 MA, I'm gone. Like Donkey Kong. Yeah, come on, baby. Couple more. Wow. Just come on. <laughs> Hear that? There's my little devil. Oh, yeah, look at that. Straight back up. I'm taking that to be. That's yeah, that's a B. It's not really, It's just not doing it for us, is it? Fuck! Just missing that. <laughs> All right, we can't beat it. Don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah. You do not, because there's plenty of other opportunities. Oh well, we managed to trade well. Yep. We and we were patient. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we did have revenge I'm, trading. Mate, I'm still, I'm still in mine. Yeah, still... I'm still in mine too, just. Okay. All right, well, I'm just holding, I'm still holding it. Might want to now come up here. Think about this, right? Wants to do this and create divergence off the 50. 50 MA, yeah. right? Look at look at my 15 minute chart where my cursor is now. I want to come up to there, yeah. and that's then that's divergence, right? Correct. That's divergence. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or even a double top. Pretend, possibly. Right? might want to do that so we're just going to give it some room to do that so from entry on i mean my stop is like right there as well so if it is my stop i'm just going to cop the 10 points this might be just a um a zero day for me because i was 12 points in on the um on the first one i've got 10 points stop on this one if i get hit and you know, I'm just not feeling it. Yeah, you'll just leave it. And then I'll just leave it, mate. Go watch, I'm gonna go to the pub and watch the Matildas at, at eight o'clock. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm up quite a bit this month anyway, so. Doesn't matter. Oh, see, straight back down. Come on, baby. Come on. We deserve it, don't we? Come on, let's talk each other yeah. into it. Come on, buddy. Let's do it. Do it. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. God, I'm not even only teaching you. I'm fucking entertaining you as well. Yeah. Maybe we're looking up here at this, waiting for this um, 200 to come down into here. Who knows? Yeah. That's me. Yeah. I'll show you this thing that you can do on your charts. Watch this. Yeah. I'll go like this settings. And reverse side. You can go gradient. We put the Jackson Capital little blue in there. Mm-hmm. Can, you can make a gradient. Yeah, let me go back to grid lines. Grids, no. No grids. How's that? You make it a gradient? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks shit. <laughs> so, it's kind of cool if you put purple in there. Something like that. Magenta. Yeah. Hot pink. Or even black, go black, go like a magenta. Oh, scary! Oh, man. oh, how gamer is that? Oh, look at that one. Anyway, it's just distracting. Some guy taught me to have my charts as white, so I'll just leave it at that. Oh yeah, okay. Some some guy. <laughs> Some random bloke thought to himself. Oh, blue is more sincere. Baby blue, that's it.
Yeah, well, that you would call that, you could call that FT50, right? Yeah, that's why once it came all the way down to there, I, I went there. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. You know, if you did go long right on that tick, you know, the 50% is up there. That's 30 points. That's not bad. Not a bad job. Anyway, I'm still in it, so I'm just going to stay where I am. So are you out now, are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got clipped at BE. Yeah. All right, well, that's it. It's just not doing your job. Doing the job for you. I reckon this is its last opportunity. If it doesn't break 80, then we're gone. I'm gonna bring mine into, if this comes down again, I'm gonna bring mine to break even as well. To break even, yeah. yeah. And then I'm just gonna be happy with my 12 points. I'm getting ready to say minus 10. Ah, uh, yeah. Any questions, anybody? Um, no, not from you, mate. From any everybody else. I would have asked mine. Huh? You would have already asked it if you had a question, mate. Lucky, Alec, Shannon, any questions? Because I'm gonna, I'm almost gonna bail in a second. Keep yeah, trading. I'm here, mate. Nothing, okay, still learning, good. Still soaking it up, Richard. Okay. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the, the cool chat too. And thanks for Peter too. No worries. Hopefully everybody's learned something. It's, it's, it is quite complicated. Come on, come down, come down to the VWAP. Should I put my, I should put my target at the VWAP. There's just no sellers in there, is there? Yeah. Yep, today might be BE for me, mate. Anyway, um, and I don't like usually doing this, but just to give everybody confidence, okay, that trading is possible, okay. Um, I, re I don't recommend this, and I don't want everybody to fucking start doing this to everybody else, but I just want to show the newcomers that what time and experience and knowledge 
does for you. Okay, all right. That there, this is my week, this is my month. Okay, that's yesterday, that's the, the day before, that's the day before that. The, there's my one down day for the month, and we're on the 16th day. There's these are all just da days that I'm trading, all right? So it's 10 grand for f what 15, six, 15 days work, not including weekends. All right, so including weekends, I should say. So what, 14 days, no, what, 10 days, basically. All right, so trading, you can make money off it, all right? And then there's some other things that I'm doing. All right, so, okay. A little bit of a head job for you guys. Yeah, thanks. So that you know that if you're having a difficult time, then, yeah. you know, it takes persevere and it takes time to really grapple to with level. it and believe in what's going on, right? It's about cutting your winners, cutting your losers short, letting your winners run, even adding to those winners as well, okay? And recognizing what's going on, I guess. And I've broken my own rule that I've put into the guidelines. What's the rule violation? I missed that. Oh, the rule violation. Okay, so what I've... Okay, so I've got these guidelines. Let me just put them up. Just so everybody, so you can see what I'm talking about, and I'll look, I'll give you an explanation around it here. Is that what you should be posting? What you shouldn't? What you should not be posting? Okay. Don't post your P and L.